Today, I would like to introduce you to possibly the dumbest consumer electronics product I've ever come across. Now, if you are unfamiliar with TENS therapy, they generally don't look like this. A little box has some sticky pads you put on your skin, delivers a small current, high frequency causes your uh, nerves to tingle, your muscles to twitch, and it can provide some localized pain relief. So I was at Walgreens yesterday looking through their as seen on TV aisle and I came across this. I thought, oh, this will be fun. It'd be like a very low powered stun gun I can use to zap Blake with. <laughs> so it was cheap, it was under 20 bucks I bought it. So what the heck, have some fun with it. You can see it's shaped like a rocket. And it comes with a little ball head and a flat head. You just pull out one and key it up and put in another one. And I thought, wait a minute. There's only one contact. Now I may not be the smartest bear in the woods. But I do remember reading somewhere that if you don't close the circuit, no current can flow. And how the heck is this thing supposed to work? So it uses, uh, like I said, one AA battery. And it's slippery as whale snot, this paint. So you turn it on. All right, let's see uh, what it can do. So you put it on my hand. They say I test it. Put it right here between your thumb and forefinger. There's one. I'm like I don't feel anything. There's two. I don't feel anything. There's three. I don't feel anything. I thought, all right. How does it go? Nine. Okay. I'm not going to do this because I did this yesterday, and you don't want to do this. I hit myself, and this thing flew out of my hands. This is conductive paint. This is your other, this is the other side of the circuit. You're the ground. So say you got a sore knee, you want to put this on your knee. You're also getting a treatment in your hand. And unfortunately, this thing's got to be on at least five for me to feel it. And at five, it overrides my control of my hand muscles. Like, who thought of this crap? I'll tell you who. China. It's a good concept. And if they would have stuck with this and done two con two contacts, that'd be great. Also, there's no metal in this. These are plastic. They're just coated with conductive paint. So we get a little instruction manual product may vary from image shown. Intentions for use, to be used for temporary relief of pain. Oh yes. For external use only. Remember that. Mm -hmm. nah, here's where it says, why are clean hands important? The hemp vana rocket uses the hand you are holding it with as the ground. So if you try to use this with gloves, it's not going to work. When in use, it's normal to sometimes feel an elect electronic sensation in the hand. You think? Let's see how much current this thing is drawing. All right, I got a volt and a half. Your voltage over your standard AA battery. Keyed up on the power supply. So if we remove this battery, we should be able to clip our positive on here, and our negative on here. Turn on, turn on the power supply. You want to see what this thing's drawing? Take a look at that. 
It'll take all three amps. That ain't good. Let's try this another way. Let's take the battery out. We'll clip on again like we did before. But this time, we're just going to touch it to the battery. Need a meter. Paul, sometimes I wonder if you have a brain in your head. I'm putting a little clips on the meter. Now, I am assuming, as we saw since it drew the full current of the power supply, that they are counting on the internal resistance of the battery to limit the current to this device. That ain't really a good thing. All right, so let's figure this out here. It's going to be harder to do than I thought. I don't know how I'm going to get everything in place and not knock something apart. Yeah. No. I'm brainificating. Hang on. All right. So we've got the power supply set up for a volt and a half, 50 milliamps, which is about the max you want out of a AA battery. So the positive from the battery going to the positive of the thing, the negative of the thing goes through the ammeter out and back to the battery or to the power supply so powered up oh, yeah it's not even turned on and it's pulling two milliamps turn it on huh. two million um, we might need more uh more current here. Go up to 100. Okay, there we go. Nope. Doesn't like 100 milliamps either. I guess we're just not going to get a reading off this doggone thing. So it's pulling. 15 or 100 milliamps that time. Yeah, there's nothing there. I don't get it. I just wanted to see how much current it was drawn. That's all. Why would it have to be so difficult? But it does not like that power supply. There we go. If I go like this, yeah. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you guys this. You know, I give this like a two thumbs down. Don't buy one. Tens devices you can get the standard kind, like I showed you in that picture, for about thirty to forty dollars. And they don't shock you when you're trying to use them. I mean, they shock you wherever you want them to, but not where you don't want them to. This is just annoying. Bad design. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.